Let's get ready for the Super Bowl. Lugan and Alex had waited a long time for the marvelous ball. I love playing with hula hoops, yelled Lugan. I prefer to play with telescopes, bellowed Alex. How many times have you been to a ball? Inquired Lugan. Only two to five times, answered Alex. Oops, yelped Lugan. Everyone has a hat stuck over their eyes, sighed Alex. Oh shucks, this is eerie, exclaimed Lugan. It really is, wailed Alex. We need some special help with this pickle, said Lugan. But where, quizzed Alex. Could that be a warning sign, asked Lugan. I a very bizarre warning sign said Alex. There was a noise, a chime and a clatter, and then a fairy squeezed out of the warning sign. It is I, Eve the truck fairy, said the fairy. Ever since Madame Grimmy and the gremlins pinch my magic newspaper there have been peculiar occurrences, said Eve. Look at the uproar the gremlins are causing with their shifty tricks, howled Eve. Berg. Those vulgar gremlins are making people cry with onions. What bother? Sighed Eve. Eve couldn't even pee in a pot. Snigger, she's such a pointless oaf. Whooped one of the gremlins. Those hoodwinking gremlins have Eve the truck fairy's magic newspaper over. There, screamed Lugan. The gremlins got stuck in a colossal cobweb allowing Lugan and Alex to get back the magic newspaper. Woohoo, you'd have saved the ball. Cheered Eve. Now that I have my magic newspaper back, the ball will be absolutely jam dandy, said Eve the truck fairy. Look at Madame Gremmy and those gremlins crawling away. Toodaloo, bellowed Lugan. The tremendous big cake made the ball a rip-roaring success.